Hi folks, how are you? All good? I know it's hot, I know it's uh, gonna cool down very, very, probably about next Friday, but we're here to enjoy some great music. We all had a good day so far? All right, glad you came along to Toy Out the Fan Zone. Thank you very much for that indeed. We heard uh, some incredible acts on right throughout the week and one of the best right now. You know what to expect, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. This is the Davidson Brothers. Thank you very much. It's good to be here and uh, making some music. That's what we're here for. And to see you guys too, obviously. I think we started coming here in 1998, uh, picking up near the Kmart Plaza, did a bit of busking. I think when I was a, when I was a kid, John Williams used to say that he imagined his audience is in their undies, and uh, ever since he said that, I, that's all I do. So we look forward to these opportunities now. We're going to do a song we wrote. This one is called Every Time I Leave, but we're not leaving yet. We just got here and got the car fixed, so we're good for a little while. Actually, funny story, the NRMA guy pulled up in West Wyalong and he immediately recognised us from CMC. And then he said to me, he goes, hey, what's going on here? I thought all you blokes drove big shiny pickups with chicks in bikinis in the back. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was a memorable experience. tune of ours. Um, this is not the one we nominated for on Saturday night, but we always do a few instrumentals on our albums. And, um, this is one called Brown Snake. Supposedly the tune's got a bit of bite. Look, at it. Look under your seats. Stand your feet.
national mandolin champion, Lockie Davidson. drive to Tamworth with I thought I hope we don't end up one up two down on the side of the highway but we we made it. We've got a few friends who can come up and join us. Would you like to come up Tommy Chandler, Paddy Montgomery and Chloe Knight? Now yeah, bluegrass is good fun. You get to make lots of friends and play music wherever you go. Usually we just talk to each other online so it's a really special week we get to play in person. Our friend from Newcastle, Dan Watkins is gonna sing this song for you. Okay. Yeah. Going on that fiddle. <laughs> We're all keeping that cool though up here. Well, I was born down in the south lane. When I was only four years old, I'm a freeborn man. My home is on my back. I know every inch of the highway, every foot of back road, every mile of railroad road track.
We do have copies here, they're 20 Australian dollars. We will ex accept foreign currency at today's exchange rate. But this song we wrote uh, to do with the Australian climate and how all the labour and factories are closed and people have to move for work even if they don't want to live in a different place and it's all crap, you know, all boring. We come to town to get away from all that. But this song was wrote about that and the chorus is well, all you really knew is a bit of music and some red wine and whatever, you know, whatever your poison is. And this song brings it all around. We wrote the song in cooler weather. <laughs> Not very good at wine weather. <laughs> and the song makes even more sense to me because I just got kicked out of my second house in 12 months in Melbourne. So, uh, renting's crap. But that's why my hair's so long because I'm saving up for my own place. <laughs> But uh, for the time being, all you need is music and a little bit of plinky plonky. <laughs> Let's do it. Thought I'd be further down the line. Thirty years is a long time. Got no house to call my own. I can't help if I feel alone. If you Thank you. 
This one in tribute to our man who was the heart of our family. She had eight kids and everybody entered by the back door like you do in the country and hung out in the kitchen. And uh, she's the reason, a big reason why we played music and why we ended up in Tamworth in the first place. So this one, here it is. It's nominated for Instrumental of the Year this year. It's called Evelyn's Kitchen. Saturday night, so please give another round of applause. A very, very talented family, that one. 